All right. Uh, we have showed you how to load an earthquake. Uh, how to calculate its SA um, spectral acceleration, and how to estimate the maximum uh, displacement of a shear building using uh, the MRS method. So now we're going to talk about how to do that with the like real deal, the new mark beta. So we're still going to represent the uh, building. <laughs> oh boy, uh, using uh, M and K. Excuse me. Then we're gonna use the DR. Um, the DR we're gonna use the same thing we use for generating the response spectrum, which is five percent, I believe. Then uh, we're gonna input a dynamic force and time and specify dt. But because we're using an earthquake, uh, we're really not doing a dynamic uh, force and time. So what we did is that we program everything here so that it can handle real dynamic force, but we actually embed this into this uh, um, this SBDEQ thing, right? So where uh, we just input A, G, and T, which we know. Um, and then we just call this thing here. So basically we re recreate the FT using the mass and this, and then we just do that. Um, so let's see how it works. Um, we're gonna try to replicate what we did on the previous example and then go from there. So let's do this. Control C and then come in air. I need to remember, okay, yeah, 221A645. So I'm gonna do 221A645. Okay, something like that. Then DR pattern will be 0.05, I believe. Yeah, should be. AG is the AG from that example we just did. But remember the unit, right? You're doing inch and pounds and seconds, so you need to times 386.4 uh, to turn that into the same unit. Um, then the T is whatever the T we have. The DT, yeah, you, you can just like, um, you know, hundreds of seconds, that's your time step, that's fine. And then, yeah, don't forget to um, assign it to, uh, we're using RR for that, so just, we're gonna just, just using RR for this guy, okay? So you're gonna do that and, okay, wow. I don't expect this, but anyway, that's good. So it it outputs it outputs your T, it outputs your um, uh, response. The DX is the interstory response. Yeah, in this case, you don't really care at this point. It's really useful when you when you do building design where you're interested in difference in displacement between stories. Velocity acceleration, uh, absolute acceleration, and uh, the earthquake acceleration. So all you need to do is just uh, uh, check and plot on T and uh, X. Yeah, everybody want to see the displacement. Uh, oh, I can't do that. Um, it should be RR. Okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. RR dot D, RR dot X because they are uh, inside this structure. So that's how you call it inside the structure. So you do this. Wow. Uh, so this is how things gonna uh, uh, gonna, uh, what do I say? Uh, vibrate. One, two, three. Uh, one is a story one, two, story two, three is story three. And if you want, you can uh, magnify a little bit. You can just do this. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Then the question uh, uh, a lot of students ask about uh, um, how do I find the maximum of, of each story? Um, the, the way you do it is you just do um, max and ABS. ABS is absolute value of RRR dot X. That is how you do the maximum of the displacement of each story. Oh, no. Oh, actually, we need to kind of trans flip it a little bit. 
Um, so it's these values. So that's a first story, second story, third story. You, you probably still remember we are our um, MRSR method where you have RR uh, dot uh, ma max x, I believe. Um, you can kind of compare those. Uh, you can find out this is actually a pretty conservative, but this from the time history analysis is, uh, I would say, more real. But, and you can see how, why in designer they, they are able to accept this because it's more conservative. They, they predict the maximum response will be, will be more. So that will be it. I mean, you can do movies, but I'm not going to do that in this video. Um, if you're interesting enough, are interested enough, you will be able to do it by yourself. Thank you.